I know all the fighters, and they're all, all on steroids. All you motherfuckers are on steroids. All you motherfuckers, all you're on steroids. If you haven't heard, Ryan Garcia popped for a banned substance. NGQ, doing what I do. All white, looking nice. Garcia actually popped for the same substance Bantamweight champ Sean O'Malley tested positive for. So this begs the question, is everyone on steroids? Everybody's on steroids. While most fans are under the assumption that everyone is on something, but if it isn't confirmed or a fighter hasn't been busted, everyone just sweeps it under the rug, no matter how obvious it looks. Anybody is, who's not on steroids, who looks like they're on Dude, steroids, it's him and They're Yoel all on Romero. fucking steroids. You think Let's so? be, uh, well, it's not that easy these days with it's you, Sard, but come on, some of them are on steroids. <laughs> some They've of them probably be. are. Joe. But who's on? Okay. You're telling me that you don't believe that Yoel Romero ever took a steroid in his life? In the early days of the UFC, we know most, if not all, fighters were on some type of steroid. I yeah. never dodged this question. I've always taken it head on because it, it is a part of that generation. It, it was what everybody thought they needed to do in order to go in there and be in shape. So does that still apply to MMA today? In 2015, USADA was introduced to the UFC, being the promotion first anti-doping agency. Before USADA, they were basically just doing smell tests for steroids. They were doing a smell test back then for steroids. That's all they did. They're, yeah, you're good. <laughs> There's Everybody one. passed. It's so ridiculous. Even with USADA, fighters being on roids hasn't stopped. And there's still loopholes according to multiple UFC fighters. You don't think all those guys are taking that shit? Though? I think there's a lot of people taking it. I, because it's so easy to beat USADA. Yeah. You need like... Timing. You need No, you, you need like 20 grand. Call a good doctor. Boom. I'm going to just say it. I don't like... If you train in Thailand, I'll be kind of suspect about you because they can get drugs oh. over the counter like like steroids and shit like that, like cough syrup, Don't you know? Don't you saw to visit Thailand? Fuck, fuck no. I can go to the fucking mountains in Ecuador and tell them I'm hunting and I'll be doing EPO and shit. By the time I come back, there's nothing on me. Using steroids definitely gives fighters unfair advantages over their opponents, but is there an actual real solution to stopping fighters from using? I've heard people just say legalize the steroids under the assumption that everyone's already on them, which I think is a horrible idea with the rise of sports related deaths and CTE. So having juiced up grown men pound each other isn't the smartest idea. A good idea to stop steroids cheats brought up by Cheeto Vera is to randomly drug test fighters as USADA was only allowed to test from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. The UFC is now under a new doping agency and I don't know how the rules work, but I'll assume it's the same as USADA. So unexpected drug tests would throw off and crack down fighters on banned substances. In combat sports, most of the greats have been accused or caught using steroids, but we'll never know for sure who was actually all on steroids as they'll all just be assumptions at the end of the day. Oh, and just so we're clear, all banned substances aren't steroids, but they all do give fighters an advantage, like Diorex, which helps fighters cut weight. But anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you think most athletes are on juice and what promotions can do to stop the problem.